Oh, kick the, oh, kick the bloody thing. Oh. oh, Benny, mate, how are you? How was last night? What did you um? What did you do last night again? Nan's, uh, Nan's 90th. Yeah, that's it. How was that? Go off, oh, mate. 90th to the new 18th. That's just that's how it is now. I, I doubt the fam is ever going to look at me the same after last night, but I had a great time nonetheless. Yeah, right. Pretty dog, you didn't invite your best mate, but ah, uh, uh, well. Oh well, yeah, I was going to, but Nan still, Nan still hates you from that time that you. Oh no, that makes sense. Yeah, no, that makes sense. Good call, actually. Anyway, so tell us about it. You get lucky. I actually did. No way, buddy. Else, so the four-day drought's over. Goodness, I didn't think I'd see the day. Yeah. Uh, yep. So come on, tell us about it. Well, uh, big bunda. Nice, nice. How was the cans? Oh, mate. Damn, I can just picture it. How did this come about? So I was absolutely shutting down the D floor to the nut bush. You know how I normally do. Oh mate, I know you. You would have been putting on a clinic. Well, yeah, I was absolutely finger drunk. I was moving like one of those inflatable fucking these things from Harvey Norman, you know, when they've got a sail on. Oh yeah, th these things. So yeah, I was moving with authority. So any girl within two kilometers was just in absolute strife. I was even worried for a moment there that Nan was gonna try something, but luckily she didn't. So anyway, I'm on the dance floor, moving. What do you know, this busty MILF comes up to me. Cannons. I'm 27 beers and a bumper cat in at this point, so there is nothing on this earth that could have saved this woman once she stepped into the fucking danger zone. Did you slam her? I'm getting there, hang on. So I'm dancing, she starts throwing it absolutely all the way back to fucking World War II on me, and I'm having it. Oh, God, you're lucky. I was getting some absolutely horrendous looks from the fam, but it was too late. Once those fucking beer goggles were on, there was absolutely nothing that was gonna take them off. Then what happened? So then I ask her, do you wanna come help me look for my phone out the back by the bins? Classic. So we get outside, and when I say that the fucking jaws of life couldn't pry us apart, that's a fucking understatement. I was learning new moves like it was the fucking WWE. God, yeah, good man. So I finish up, head back inside of the party to some pretty horrendous looks from people. But uh, I mean, you just take the good with the bad and the ugly. Jeez, if I didn't think you were fit to be prime minister before, I sure as shit do now. So who was this baddie? Uh, uh, she, uh, she was a woman. Yeah. <sighs> Blonde? Yeah, who was it? Ah, oh, it doesn't really matter. Mate, you should just be proud of yourself. Don't be ashamed. Like, you did a good thing. Like, even if she wasn't that good, it's still such a great story. You just got to own it. Yeah, you're right, bro. Thanks, mate. Wait, so who was it? Oh, it was uh, your mum. How the fuck did she get an invite? Funhouse Agnes. King of the palace. Rubber like Malcolm. Bought up fist in the air to the fast lit. 